What's up guys, it's Juan Zuniga and in this video I want to talk to you guys about, you know, we always talk about getting, you know, the best bang for your buck or getting affordable things that, you know, are good for you, but sometimes you need to get the expensive stuff. Sometimes it's worth to get an expensive thing um, for many reasons. So right now I'm going to give you five things that I believe are expensive, but the they're worth the money. So if you're interested, let's hop into it. But before we continue, I want to talk to you guys about a sponsor, Manscaped. Manscaped right now has an amazing deal. If you get the package 2.0, you can get a free DOP kit. On top of that, you get 20% off. And on top of that, you get free shipping. Manscaped is one of my favorite companies out there because they're different. They're for the man, but for grooming down below. It's not your regular grooming company, it's for your groin area. That, that's basically what it is, for your groin. You want your groin to be manscaped. You don't want to be hairy and bushy, and that's what I love about it. And in the package 2.0, you can get the lawnmower 2.0, which is this little clipper right here that you can use to trim down there. And you can also, and you also get the plow if you want it nice and clean and completely shaving, that's up to you. You can get, you get the plow and you can use that for that. And you get the crop preserver, the crop reviver, and all that. The crop preserver is basically a shampoo or, or a soap for your boys. It's, it's, it's safe to use down there and you don't have to worry about irritation or anything like that. And then you got the crop reviver basically is a deodorant for your boss. So, you know, we all sweat, you know, we all work out. If you live in South Florida or in Texas or in a humid place, you're sometimes your ball sweat. So put a little bit of deodorant. You don't want that thing to have a stank. So put a little bit of deodorant of the crop reviver and you'll be good to go. But um, before you're doing that, you also want to take care of it by trimming it down. If you have a lot of hair down there, all the bacteria is going to build up. And it doesn't matter how much deodorant you put down there, it's not going to help you. So yeah, use a little trimmer like this, trim it down. And if, like I said, you want to shave it, shave it down with the plow. But one of my favorite ones, I use it down there. I have it nice and trimmed. And I'm good to go. So check out Manscaped. I'll have the link down below so you guys can check them out. It's an amazing deal. You get a dop kit, you get a good amount of percentage off. And on top of that, you get free shipping. I forgot about something else. The dop kit is worth 40 bucks. So you're getting, you know, something there. On top of that, you're getting a free pair of underwear, which is basically like $20. So, I mean, they're just giving away products now if you guys buy and click the link down below. So don't, stop doing what you're doing. I mean, just go down there, click the link and get your free stuff. That way you can take advantage of this amazing deal. And so check out Manscaped. I'll have the link down below. Now let's continue with the video. All right. The first thing that I want to recommend, and they are very pricey and, you know, um, some people don't want to use them, but I think it's a very, especially if you travel a lot or you commute a lot on the train, subway or whatever, are the Bose 700. Now, I love the AirPods. They're nice and compact. I can put it in my pocket, but they're not really noise cancellation. In my opinion, you need something that is noise cancellation. These run for around 400 bucks. Um, they're expensive, but they're totally worth it. They're comfortable. You noise cancel everything on top, but you can press a button and you can still hear what people are saying if you want to listen to them and you can get back into work. Um, I've used them. I use them a lot in the plane, all right? So I can just zone out, edit videos, or watch whatever I'm watching, and just zone out completely, or listen to music, or whatever, while I read a book. Um, so it's totally worth it. With the AirPods, I traveled, when I went to Canada, I took my AirPods, I didn't take my Bose, because I didn't want to take them in my backpack, and I was able to hear everything that was going on. With these, I don't. I always carry the pair with me now, and um, now that I'm going to California, I'm gonna have them with me. So to me, they are totally, totally next thing is the iPad Pro. Now, iPad has changed a lot since the beginning. I had an iPad back in the day when it first came out and then it got stolen and then I never really bought an iPad again. I thought they really weren't worth it. Then I bought, recently bought the regular iPad, I, whatever the iPad is called, and um, it was all right. Um, but then I upgraded to the iPad Pro. And let me tell you, it is a life changer. I love how the pencil gets magnetic on the top and you can charge the pencil everything's in one place and on top of that the screen is up big and now with the new update that came out with the mac you can basically use the ipad already integrated you don't need an extra dongle or anything like that i know there was apps and stuff like that but now it's completely integrated in the mac and you can use it into a second monitor on top of that you can edit videos. There's an app that you can use to edit videos if you're on the go. It makes it so much easier than carrying your big ass laptop. You carry, you know, just your iPad, you edit with your pencil, you can do Photoshop, you can draw, you can do so much stuff. It's a very productive thing. And me, I do a lot of billing and, 
and um, accounting and all that and re reviewing documents and this is perfect i can sign it right there i can review quickbooks i can review billing i can edit videos and all that so totally worth it i think the ipad it is a thousand bucks but a little tip that i want to give you is that if you want to buy one and but don't want to pay a thousand bucks go on to ebay ebay has amazing deals i bought mine off of ebay i pay 600 bucks it's fully loaded the guy just wanted to get rid of it he just didn't have use for it but doesn't mean it was bad or it's not good. It's just he he didn't have use for that specific iPad. So I totally recommend that you check out eBay and, and for stuff like that, and you you be good to go. Next thing is a good watch. Now I have fashion watches. I'm not I'm not talking bad about them. I have fashion watches and I like them. I use them a lot. But um, if you want it as an investment, I think buying a good watch, an expensive watch, is worth it. Um, I see it like a line of credit on your wrist. So right now I'm wearing an Omega Speedmaster. These, this watch is, is a classic watch and it retains its value pretty well. Um, try to find a watch that retains its value pretty well, like a Rolex Datejust, a Submariner, if you want to go with the GMTs, those have appreciated. They're about double the price now. The MSRP is about $8,000. they are going for about $17,000, 16 to 17000 depending on the which band you get or whatever. So they have appreciated. They haven't even lost value. They have actually appreciated. So if you were able to get it at MSRP right now, you double your money right now. And that's what I like about them. Find a watch that either, you know, it can stay there or if you have, you know, your that hunch that I appreciate you, you've read articles, people are talking about it, like the GMT, and um, you think it's an appreciate, just buy it. It's going to tie up your cash, but if you just have your cash just sitting in the savings, I think that's a good way to just put it there and you don't know what to do with it. It's like a line of credit. If something happens, let's say you're in Europe, Middle East or whatever, you can go to any jewelry store and sell that watch to get your get basically your money back um, and you can sell it. Or if you know something happens, you lose your job or whatever, you can always sell that watch and get your money back. And you got whatever the watch, let's say if you, ha you buy a $30,000 watch, you can have a year's worth of salary right there at 30 grand, you know what I'm saying? So it can save you um, from from a lot of things. To me, it's a line of credit on your wrist. You carry a good watch with you, you buy an expensive watch, yeah, it might be a feel like, damn, it's 30 grand, but at the end of the day, it's you can sell it and make your money back. Or if it appreciated like the freaking GMT, you'll be good to go. The next thing is to invest in a one quality suit. Um, and I say expensive. I'm not saying, you know, a $100 suit from JCPenney or CS. I'm saying at least buy something that is 600, 700 bucks from Suit Supply. Um, it doesn't have to be $6,000 from Tom Ford, but if you buy a good suit from Suit Supply and it's nice and tailored, it's going to be a huge investment. Honestly, all these things, it's not so much that, is they're all gonna be a huge investment. You know, Bose 700 are, you know, just you just zone out and you're focused on work iPad just helps you for work. Rolex, you know, you can sell it and make your money or make more money out of it. And then your suit, you're going to use it for job interviews or business meetings that where you really want to stand out. And, you know, if it's tailored nicely, it's a good suit and it's, it's good quality. And usually good quality starts at five, $600. I'm telling you guys, that thing is gonna take you to the next level. People are gonna see you differently. People, you're gonna feel differently as well. You're gonna feel more confident and it's totally worth it. So find a suit that is really worth it, a suit that you know fits impeccably well, that looks good and it just, just works for you. And always go for a navy or a charcoal. Don't go for a wild color, especially if that's the only suit you're gonna have. You don't want people to know that's the only suit you have. Um, those are more, more the classic and also they're the more of the classic power move you know suits after that if you're going to get more suits go for pinstripes and then window pane and all that so totally get a nice good suit and it's it's really going to help you in the market. and finally a good pair of quality shoes you can't get that suit with a good pair of quality shoes or even you know chelsea boots or something like that and i'm saying a good pair you can spend some money on it you know what i'm saying you don't want to go to aldo and only pay 100 bucks try to pay you know two, three hundred bucks for a good pair. And if you can afford a pair of YSLs or Ferragamos or Gucci's at a thousand bucks, go ahead. Because honestly, I have two pairs of boots, two pairs of YSL boots. And I'm telling you, they, those things have lasted a very long time. Um, you can even resold them and they're still going to look like new. Um, another good brand that you can get out there for around 200 bucks is Thursday boots. Um, those are a little bit more casual. They have a few dressier shoes. So if you guys are interested in and you don't want to pay, you know, a thousand bucks, 
check out Thursday boots. And those, you can also resole them and, you know, polish them off and make them look like new and they're gonna look like new. They have Chelsea boots, Chucker boots, they have shoes, they have regular combat boots. So they have a huge array of boots and they're running for around 200 bucks. So yeah, get a good quality pair of shoes or boots. And if you want shoes, just regular dress shoes, you know, I think Thursday boot has it as well. Um, but yeah, don't go for, you know, something cheap that's gonna cost you 80, 100 bucks because in the long run, you're gonna have to pay, buy another one and another one and another one. And then if you look at it, how often you buy a shoe, because it's cheap, you buy it very often, it comes out being more expensive. So if you buy a very quality, good pair of shoe, it's gonna last you a, lot, a lifetime. I mean, I have shoes like Allen Edmonds um, and other brands that I had still in my closet that they still look like new. Just put a shoe tree in there and you're good to go. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time.